Well, Will Smith has apologized to Chris Rock for slapping him, and Jada Pinkett Smith has commented on social media about the interaction. Yeah, let's get more into this right now. We're joined right now by David Kaplan, the executive editor of 1010 w Wins and WCBS in New York. David, thanks so much for being here this afternoon. Lots to talk about when it comes to, let's start with what Will Smith has gone onto Instagram and said, talking about violence in all forms is poisonous and destructive. It seems very much like this was written by a crisis communications expert <laughs> rather than Will Smith. Is that a fair comment, do you think, David? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a fair observation. Obviously, he's vetted by his people. And, you know, the, the interesting thing about his apology is that he really apologized to sort of everyone who could be offended. He, of course, first off, um, apologizes to Chris Rock. He apologizes to the Academy. He apologizes to viewers across the world. And he apologizes to the Venus William, to the Venus sisters, and everyone involved in the film that he won the Oscar for um, to be offended. So he's sort of covering all of his bases there. Uh, you know, the only thing that's interesting is that, you know, he's says he's a work in progress and it's kind of like you're 53 years old so I think there was mm -hmm, a lot of mm -hmm. kind of chatter online I was like you're you know everyone knows you know in Hollywood everything is very well managed everything is down to a T there's no surprises so to say he's sort of a work in progress that's sort of something you hear about um, you know out of control teen stars like Justin Bieber from 10 years ago oh, yeah. or like all these other ones not um, Will Smith. Yeah, and David, you know, this whole issue is creating a lot of division with people who are, uh, you know, for what Will Smith did, defending, yeah. you know, the honor of his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, who has been quite open about her alopecia, her skin, uh, her hair condition, mm -hmm. and then also people who are just like, no, we can't stand for violence. This was a comedian doing his job, hosting, uh, you know, presenting a category at the Oscars, and he gets assaulted out of nowhere, and there's literally no repercussions after that moment. So we're starting to see the, uh, the fallout from it. The Academy says they're going to launch an investigation. The LAPD is saying that they're also going to uh, look into it. But we know Chris Rock has declined to press charges. So do you think that there will be more to come from this? Do you think that he could have his uh, Best Actor award taken away as a result? I don't think the award's going to be taken away. You know, again, it was him winning the actor, but if that award was taken away, it really ends up being a disservice to the film that he did, which everyone really liked. So I don't see that happening. I think in the long term, he'll be fine. Because you know what? I have to point out that right now, he has 49 projects in development. That's mm -hmm. a lot of projects, mm -hmm. right? So he has 49 projects in development. He's worth, you know, $350 million. So um, I don't think it's going to have this long term effect. I think maybe the Academy, um, I could see them taking some sort of action. Maybe he won't be invited um, for a subsequent year, you know, something like that as well. Um, but you are right. There's definitely, you know, it's hugely polarizing and you have people in Hollywood on both sides. Um, some are pro Chris, some are pro um, Will Smith. You know, you've uh, Tiffany Haddish saying, oh, that was great. I loved seeing him stand up for his wife. Then you've other people, mainly comedians, actually, Kathy Griffin, yeah. Rosie O'Donnell, mm -hmm. and they're just saying that was totally wrong. All right, David, look, it'd be uh, great to get into a little bit more about this, but unfortunately, we're up against the clock. So listen, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Perhaps we can pick up the conversation again. But uh, David Kaplan, appreciate your time this afternoon here on CP24. Thank All you. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Okay.